Hi, I'm Leimani Segura. I play Emmy in a high school musical, The Musical, The Series, and this is Young Entertainment Magazine. question so I'm just so blown away by what you said that's so exciting how did you get into acting then you're in Wisconsin can you walk me through like your journey and how you got signed to an agency even though because I'm sure you know a lot of talent live in LA live in New York and that's one really exciting thing I across the board have been talking to young actors who don't have to move to LA and New York anymore because the world is kind of remote. So can you walk us through that a little bit? Because that's so exciting. Yeah, so I started acting just recently. I mean, this this is my first ever acting role, my acting job. So you know, I'm all kind of new to this. Okay. It's amazing, by the way, I love it with all of my heart. It's the best ever. Yeah. But um, yeah, I haven't really acted before. And so my acting manager told me that they were casting for High School Musical. And I was like, Oh, my gosh, I have always dreamt of being a part of this such amazing, huge franchise. Right. So um, I auditioned and I mean, we got a call back and I, I mean, it was just amazing. Like I, I was so excited because the first ever time I tried to audition for something, I got the role and it's just a blessing. And I'm so honored to be a part of High School Musical, the musical series. So. Uh, that is so cool. I just got chills. And then you're in, <laughs> You're in Utah now because you're filming there, I assume. Yes, we okay. are. Okay, cool. How fun. I love it. And then before we really dive in here, I know that you mentioned briefly you did your fitting this morning. Do you get any input in that when they're like dressing you and, and choosing outfits? Do you get to be like, ooh, I love this or I don't like that? Yes, I do, which is so exciting. Um, So like what they'll do is they'll be like, okay, here, try this one on. And I'll be like, Hmm. Okay, I'll try it on. <laughs> like, oh, and I show them, and I do a little fashion, little fashion show for them, really fast. And then I look in the mirror, and I'm like, Do I like this? Does this fit my character? So yeah, I do have an input, which is also incredible. That is so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, amazing. I love to shop, so you know, I just had to ask that very girly. Me question. too. I mean, shopping is like my fave thing ever to do. Yeah. I mean, if you ask me, okay, let's go shopping. I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no hesitation. Right. Okay. We saw you sing "Wondering" on your Instagram. And by the way, you're fabulous. Uh, not only do you have amazing vocals, but your emotion when you sing is so genuine. And I just, I loved every, I went on a little spree and was watching you <laughs> sing on YouTube and stuff. And you're so good. Thank but, you. Yes. Okay. You answered this already before we were recording, but were you a fan of High School Musical, the musical, High School Musical, the musical, the series <laughs> before being cast? Oh my gosh. Yes, of course I was. I mean, who is it? Um, so I wasn't born like when the High School Musical original movies came out in like 2006, 2007. But after I was born, I, I mean, I would say I basically grew up on it because me and my sister would watch the movies all the time since we were babies and we would learn all the lyrics to the songs and we would rem remember all the choreographies and so yeah Vanessa Hudgens was practically my role model at the time <laughs> but um yeah I mean when and then when the series came out I was so excited and pumped because this was going to be a new updated version of the original movies mm -hmm. so yeah I mean and then I remember I memorized all those lyrics to those songs and it just kept on going and so yeah I would say I definitely knew about the whole high school musical franchise before I was cast in the season three absolutely I mean how could you not right it's, it's right? the best it's such a staple it's such a classic so I feel you on that did you have a favorite character or a or I guess I was gonna say did you have a favorite character or storyline in the original High School Musical. And then second part of that is, do you have a favorite character or storyline in the series now? So I would say that in the original High School Musical movies, I would probably say that Vanessa Gabriela Montez was my favorite character because 
I don't know. I feel like we have so. I feel like we have a lot in common. Like she's she was also very quiet. Um, she didn't like to talk a lot. But then she when she would sing, everyone would be blown away. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't know. I mean, she loves singing too. So I, I feel like that matches my personality a lot. So um, and then I I would say in the new series, I love Gina. I would definitely say her because I feel like everyone has a time in their life when they're not always you know happy and i feel like in the beginning of season one she wasn't you know the nicest and she wasn't happy but then she found herself and she's starting to be so sweet and i mean i, I love her storyline and she's got a voice yeah. and she's beautiful yeah. so oh i love it so good so what was it like coming into an already established cast? I mean, I was very nervous for the, like the first time I walked on set, I was so nervous um, because this was my first acting role. So it was all new to me and I was like, oh God, I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> but then I walked on set and it was the most magical moment ever. Like everyone was so welcoming and inviting and, and they just made me feel like I was at home. Like I knew them for years and years, like we were family already. So they're definitely the most amazing people ever. And I thank them all the time for, you know, welcoming me and making me feel so loved. Yeah, that's that's amazing. I can just picture that moment for you and so special that it was your first role ever. That is so crazy. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. I mean, that's like insane. And how cool is that now to have that on your resume? I mean. It's pretty life changing. So, so excited. Yeah. So, so exciting. Yeah. So we had heard from Sailor that Tim got in touch uh, with Julia to help her prepare. Did Tim set you up with anyone ahead of time to get you more comfortable with being on set or anything like that? I mean, when I got the script, I, you know, I didn't know really anything about where this was going to take place or. Yeah the characters were going to be. So I just kind of learned my script and sent it in. But, and then once I got the call back, I got to do some Zoom meetings and read through some lines with Aria Brooks, my co-star. Mm -hmm. So I definitely got a little more comfortable because she's my best friend in the show. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I got more comfortable with her, which felt amazing. Um, and I felt more comfortable. So yeah. Okay. So speaking of Aria, what was it like for you and Arya, who plays Alex, when you gush over Gina's TikToks, played by Sophia? It almost felt like you and Arya were actually gushing over the real Sophia. And it, it's funny because her TikToks in real life are so iconic and so fun. So what was that like? So I, re I remember that scene. We were like, hey, Gina. Yeah, I remember that. Um, me and Arya are the youngest on the, the set. Uh, in, in the cast so we're definitely like the little babies <laughs> you know but, um, it's definitely fun because we always we always like talk about it and how we're the youngest and we we do pranks and stuff on the cast <laughs> we do a lot of pranks and we like to joke around and you know because it's not about it's not all serious it's about having fun you know while doing it really? so yeah we definitely had a lot of fun with that and there were some scenes like in a little bit of you we got to throw snow and let me tell you that was fun because we got to make a mess with big snow <laughs> oh my god but um yeah it was definitely a lot of fun that is that's amazing you're like a mind reader because that was my next question i was gonna say the scene where you sing a little bit of you was so adorable. What was it like filming that scene? Now we know you got to play with fake snow, but was it hard to keep a straight face with Frankie in that Olaf costume? <laughs> yes, it totally was. So like what's what's so funny and crazy about it is every take, like that wasn't supposed to happen. Us knocking off his hat and messing up his nose and stuff, that wasn't supposed to happen. So when we did it, we started cracking up. Like we were dying of laughter. It was so funny to us, to me and Aria and everyone else. Like it was a raw reaction. Yeah. But that was definitely like one of my faves. I was it was so funny because he was just sitting there all serious, like all mad and stuff. And we were just like knocking his hat off. That's so perfect that that wasn't even scripted. You guys yeah. just did that. 
How fun. So Frankie told us when we interviewed him that they had to try a few different versions of his Olaf costume before they ended up finding the final one. Did you get to see any of the other versions of his Olaf costume? Or was that just in like his fitting? I don't think so. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have. <laughs> That would have been fun, right? Yeah, that would have been so much. <laughs> you can only imagine him like in oh my gosh. No, I don't I don't think I did though. Oh, that's okay. Next time. Next time. You're yes. like, I have to go to all your fittings, please. I have to go to <laughs> down. So what was or what has been your favorite part about working on high school musical the musical the series? I mean, I just love being with these people every, you know, every time we're filming. I mean, it's it's like we party every set on every t every single moment on set. We party and we break into songs just like in the real high school musical. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's so rare because you I don't think you can find a cast that not only has so much like talent, but also helps each other with everything and loves each other this much off camera. So, I mean, I love them with my whole heart. Like they're they're like some of the most talented, incredible, amazing people on this planet. Wow, that's so sweet. How beautiful is that? It's like built in best friends. That is yes. so cool. So what has been the hardest thing about playing Emmy and how did you overcome it? So playing Emmy, she's very quiet and she is very, she doesn't like to talk a lot. And I mean, that's sort of how I am. Like I'm very shy when I, when you first get to know me, but then when you start getting to know me more, then I start coming out of my shell and start talking and joking around more and singing. I mean, Oh my gosh, she's, she's a very quiet singer, but then she, I can't smell too much, I can't, I can't, but I'm so excited for you to see what happens with her. Oh my gosh, how fun. Okay, now I'm really excited, as if I wasn't already super excited. So what is one thing that you learned from another cast member, and will you take that on with you to your next acting role? Let's see. I mean, I learned a lot from a lot of different people. Yeah. I think I learned a lot from Sophia Wiley. I mean, she was like a big sister on set. Mm -hmm. um, she's the sweetest ever. I, I can't even. But yeah, I learned a lot from her. I mean, one of the things I learned was I think to sound very natural and just to have fun. She taught me that you don't have to be serious all the time. Mm -hmm. And then if I ever needed her, I could go to her and, you know, ask her for some help. But she told me that you shouldn't always be serious, you know, just mm -hmm. be natural with it and just chill out, chillax. Yeah. Um, so I'm definitely going to take that, you know, along the way with me. Totally. Did that have anything to do with being this being your first role like did you did you put any pressure on yourself thinking like oh my gosh i have to come in here and i have to shine and then it sounds to me like you were just naturally incredible and sophia was like hey girl it's you're good like you don't have to be worried you fit right in this is where you're supposed to be like was that kind of what happened yeah i think i put a lot of pressure on myself because it was my first role and i was very nervous just to meet everyone and oh gosh, yes. to be on camera and on set but then yeah i, I mean i kind of just came out of my shell and i started to talk to them more and we started yeah. out like we went to this little place called little tokyo in california and we got to shop around there and you know go to all these little stores and stuff and buy cute things but yeah i mean we all became family and I definitely came out of my shell and started being more Limani. And yeah, I think, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> totally. No, I feel that I'm the same way. I'm a perfectionist. And when I do something, it's like, I want to be perfect at it. And so I know I put a lot of pressure on myself. Yes. Like everything that I do, but then there's those moments where people or circumstances will kind of remind you like, Hey, it's all good. You can just relax. I'm like, Oh, thank God. I needed that reminder. Cause I'll get like, <laughs> so zoned in on, just trying to be perfect but that's a great lesson to everyone who's going to watch this there's so many you know young actors that that watch us on tiktok watch you guys who are just the biggest fans ever and they aspire to follow their dreams just like you guys and it's such an important reminder like hey at the end of the day the most important thing that you can be mm -hmm. is yourself so 
I yeah. love that. I love that that was something so powerful that that you learned. Um, did you know Arya before filming this series? And what did the two of you do to help you get into your characters? So I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know her. Um, but then I did hear about Better Nate Than Ever. Yeah. Better Nate Than Ever. And I heard that she was like starring in there. So I started, you know, looking her up and seeing who she was. She's incredible. Yeah. If you didn't know, <laughs> go watch Better Nate Than Ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, we when we joined the Zoom, like we didn't know each, each other. So we just read through it and we felt so comfortable. Like there was something about her that yeah. I was just like, okay, yeah, she's she's perfect. We we really, I really hope we get casted together. So, um, oh, and then Tim told us that he wrote the parts just for us. Oh my God. Yeah, which was also so special and so like, it will never leave my mind ever. Um, Wow. Yeah, with the help. We we called each other a lot, and we you know went through the lines some more. And yeah, I mean, we kind of just became like real life besties. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun! I love it. So, how was it filming the audition scene in episode two? Did you sing the entire song of "Do You Want to Build a Snowman" and then they edited it down, or did you only sing the parts of the songs that ended up in the final edit? So I think when we were filming that scene, I think I only sang my little, do you want to build a snowman? I think I only sang that part, but um, I definitely, it took, it took a lot of takes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. for everyone, like it took a lot of takes for everyone. Um, so we were just standing there, you know, <laughs> so we had to go, do you want to, it was so funny. But um, yeah, I think we're only saying that little part and a couple other parts, but. Oh my gosh, how fun. I love hearing all this behind the scenes stuff. It's so exciting. So how was it for everyone else? Did they all sing the entire song for the first time in forever? Same thing, you know, they edited it down or did the actors just sing their smaller parts like you just mentioned? Um. Well, I definitely know that other people had more parts than, more singing parts than me. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, I. I think they sang, you know, their parts as well. And we all yeah. just kind of went in line of who goes next and stuff. But yeah, I think they only sang their parts. That's so interesting. Like yeah. From a viewer, from the audience, you think like, oh, they probably just filmed the whole song and then edited yeah. it down. So it's so interesting to hear like, no, you guys each had your own parts and that was it, which it totally makes sense. That's mm -hmm. kind of like the magic of film. Is yes. there one scene either from you or one from another cast member that you got to watch them film that you're so excited to see that, that like see it air? I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I know it's like spoilers, right? Yes. I wish I totally could. Okay. How about any, have any already aired or is it hard to keep? in your mind what is aired and what has it <laughs> no i love the a little bit of you i mean i think it's so sweet yeah. i because you know we didn't know what was going on in the episode so um it was so cute because we were just you know throwing snow around and knocking his head off knocking his um <laughs> hat off but yeah, it was it was hilarious and it was a raw reaction. So I think that was like my favorite moment. And it was so much fun to film. I mean, after every take, we would have to clean it up and stuff and help the crew. But yeah. oh my gosh, how fun. OK, amazing. I know we can't do spoilers. I'm glad you caught that. That's good. Um, was there anything on set that you took home as like a little souvenir or costumes that they let you keep? I don't think I took anything from you know, I mean, I loved all of my outfits and I loved the little jewelry, but mm -hmm. I don't think I took anything. I wish okay. I could. <laughs> <But like, "Sweet, laughs> why didn't I take anything? That's a, like, you know, I don't know. Like, are you allowed to? Or like, it sounds like maybe the etiquette is you don't like what belongs to costume stays in costume. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if sometimes they're like, oh, hey, like you can have this. I wonder, I wonder how that works. I remember when after we talked to, trying to remember, ugh, what show is it? Um, but she mentioned that there was, she took home a bunch of olive oil from set. Oh, wait a minute. I think I did take something from set. Oh, did you? I, 
I did. Okay, so I took, so in a little bit of you, I had weave in my hair. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't the time. I think there was one point I had weave in my hair. Yeah. And what I did was I took it out. <laughs> I took it out of my hair and I took it home. <laughs> Um, I don't think so because I think I like cut it to make because it was all it was kind of a lot. So okay. I think I cut it and then took like you know little pieces. So but it was a special number. I had to take it. Yes, you had to have something, right? Something to put in a scrapbook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. How fun is that? So what's your favorite frozen song from the Frozen franchise? Whether it's Frozen or Frozen on Broadway or Frozen 2. I love Into the Unknown. Or let it go, definitely. Or love is an open door. I love, I love every single song. Frozen. <laughs> They're all so good, right? Yeah, so, so just... fun and so meaningful. Um, I it's so you've mentioned a few times that Emmy is more of a quiet character, and when I talk to you, you seem so outgoing and so bubbly. So how how are you and Emmy the same? And how are you different? I think me and Emmy are the same because we're both teenage girls in this world. And I mean, I really, I feel like I haven't found my voice yet. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I, I have sang loud sometimes and I've, you know, sang powerful, but I feel like I really haven't found my voice. Um, and I mean, she hasn't found her voice yet because obviously she doesn't like to talk and she doesn't like to sing that much she's very quiet um and she's just trying to figure out who she is at this theater camp with her best friend alex there um she's got a lot of people telling her advice which i have i mean i have an amazing support system you know my family my sister my brother my parents um my business partner wanye i think you know i just i think she is trying to figure out who she is in this world and who she wants to be but Hopefully later Emmy finds herself and comes out of her shell, but yeah. Oh, I love that. Aren't we all still finding ourselves? Like I could say that same thing too. It's, it's almost, it's always changing, you know, like who yes. am I, what, who is, what is my true voice? I can relate to that too. I sing as well. And sometimes it changes too. You kind yes. of think your voice is one thing and then you, learn something else about yourself and it it it's always changing so that's like a great lesson I feel like watching everybody can relate to that no matter how old they are um thank you so much for for your time is there anything else that like how about your your favorite behind the scenes moment was there anything like besides I love this story that you shared about like knocking knocking the hat off was there anything else that was super funny that happened like a behind the scenes thing or like I don't know a best friend handshake you had with someone <laughs> oh okay so Frankie Frankie who plays Carlos um me and him would always have like singing battles because we're both singers so Frankie if you're watching this <laughs> let's do a singing battle right now <laughs> um no but I like to call him Freyance because he he's known as Beyonce um yeah, <laughs> um, we would do a lot of singing videos. I, I have a lot of singing videos of us like doing little singing battles and singing Beyonce songs. They're so hilarious. I watch them to this day. But um, yeah, I mean, we would make TikToks with the whole cast and it was just, it was a blast every day. Like I have so many good, fun memories that I will never forget for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh, I love it. And what is next for you? What can we expect to see next in your career? Something exciting that you're doing? So I am starting to become a, sing a songwriter. So hopefully you guys will be getting some new music from me pretty soon. Um, I'm signing with some record labels. So, you know, hopefully all is good and we'll see what God has in plan for me. But I think you're definitely gonna start hearing a lot from you singing wise and, you know, we'll see what happens. It's <laughs> so, so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, one last question. Mm -hmm. What is your your like ultimate goal as an actress, as a singer? It sounds like you, you do so many things. So um, you're getting into songwriting. What is your like ultimate thing? Is it like getting in 
an Oscar or an Emmy or a Grammys, you're like, what is your biggest, your ultimate dream? So I have a lot of ultimate dreams, but I would definitely say if I had to choose, I would love to write hit records that are timeless. And I would love to win Grammys and Oscars <laughs> if this whole acting thing works out. Um, yeah, I definitely just want, I want to sell out Madison Square Garden and have all kinds of concerts. And I just want to make the world happy because I mean, the world obviously is a, an amazing place, but I feel like it could be greater. You know what I mean? Like it definitely has, you know, there's nowadays, yeah. you know, we do, just, yeah, no, we need people that are going to make it lighter. Yeah. And I just want to make, I just want to be a light in this world that, you know, tells people to be happy and no matter what you're going through, I'm here and I'm going to be writing music for you so you can listen to that. <laughs> but Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, girl. It was so great chatting with you. <laughs> Thank you. Girl, you're the best. Um, we're going to post you, this all over Instagram and TikTok and on the site. So we'll be tagging you and all the good stuff. Um, thanks again. I know your schedule is so crazy. So we're so grateful um, to have some time with you. And we're just cheering you on. We think that you're amazing. And we can't, just, can't wait to see uh, what's next for you. So keep Thank doing you. amazing things and being yourself. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. I'm so honored to meet you. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. It was great chatting and we'll talk to you again later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to Young Entertainment Magazine.